Oklahoma and Iowa State have turned into appointment viewing in college basketball the last three seasons, and Saturday night here at Lloyd Noble Center was no different as the number three Sooners came out with an 87-83 to win over the number 11 Cyclones in front of a sold-out crowd. Oklahoma really struggled at the first of this game, dropped down by 11. Isaiah Cousins uh, was a big part of that problem early, was 0 for 6 in the first half, didn't have any access for the point guard. He looked like, and the whole Oklahoma offense looked like they were forcing uh, their shots, weren't being patient, weren't moving the ball. That changed in the second half, and Isaiah Cousins was absolutely phenomenal was uh, 5 of 8 from the floor, scored all 15 of his points after the break, and had four assists in the second half. No stretch was bigger than uh, with about four, five minutes left when Isaiah Cousins hits a three to put the Sooners up by one. On uh, a, a little bit later, uh, Isaiah Cousins pokes the ball away from Iowa State's George Niang, uh, moves around him, scoops the ball up, gets it going the other way, and lays it over to Ryan Spangler to put the Sooners up by four for what proved to be for good but it was never comfortable until the very end. Buddy Heald made a couple of big shots late. Jordan Woodard hit a jumper at the shot clock buzzer that kept the Sooners ahead. But it seemed like every time Iowa State or Oklahoma made a big basket, George Niang and Iowa State answered uh, again. Niang had 29 points. He was phenomenal. But uh, Woodard hit a big, the big bucket late that uh, gave the Sooners uh, a little bit of a, a cushion. But OU turned the ball over to give Iowa State one more shot. Uh, Monty Morris' three-pointer hit off the, the front of the basket. Uh, OU wound up uh, getting the ball tipped out of bounds off an Iowa State player. Buddy Heald hits his free throws at the other end to uh, seal the victory for the Sooners. So uh, a big win for Oklahoma here. After the game, Sooners coach Lon Kruger and Buddy Heald talked about the victory. Terrific, uh, terrific battle all night long. Seemed like we were... Fight it uphill for uh, much of it. Uh, Iowa State made that run in the first half, and and uh, we just uh, credit Iowa State. Uh, we didn't have the movement uh, that we needed. Uh, the ball in the first half that we came back and moved a little bit better in the second half, and still couldn't quite get over the hump. And then when we did, the crowd jumped in there, and they were great all night, and uh, made a big difference uh, down the stretch. But uh, a lot of guys stepped up at the right time and made uh, made big plays. But I thought Iowa State battled and shot it well and did a terrific job. So. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a good win. Anytime you can beat a uh, like Iowa State, you feel good about it. Lon, you won the final five minutes. Could you talk about that stretch? Is there anything in particular about that time that your team turned around? Uh, the difference is going to be we make a few shots and get a couple stops, and uh, that's all on the players uh, that, uh, you know, all of them. You know, Buddy carried us uh, much of the night, and Isaiah stepped up there in the second half and made big plays. Uh, Jordan makes a shot there to put us up four late. Ryan kind of on one leg there much of the second half. Uh, you know, uh, do the big job. So uh, that, that, during that stretch, we got a couple stops, which we hadn't been able to do much of the night. Uh, you know, that thing is the best players in the country, of course, and, and a big mismatch nightmare and did a terrific job. And, and uh, Morris was great, and, and they got good players. And, and then Burton was a big, big uh, headache tonight. He uh, stepped up there and hurt us badly. So, but uh, again, guys just kept hanging in there until something got a little spark, and then the crowd helped big time. Maybe, Buddy, well, what about uh, Isaiah's second half? Uh, he's not here, but uh, maybe you can talk about. Oh, I know. No, we keep on talking about Isaiah. You know, you know, we know he's gonna get it going for us. And uh, no, what he did was good for us. We needed that. You know, he made two big shots for us, and there were threes, and uh, they cut the gap open for us. And he got a big time steal, and he finally ran on the lob. So, uh, you know, Isaiah really stepped up and made some big plays when we needed much from him. And uh, you know, and, uh, he's just getting his confidence back, and uh, I can't wait to see what he's gonna do Monday. So once again, the final here, 87 to 83, Oklahoma over the Cyclones. That sets up uh, just a monumental matchup on Monday night in Lawrence. It should be number one versus number two uh, when OU travels to Kansas to meet the Jayhawks at 8 p.m. on Monday night on ESPN. That'll be uh, the biggest game in OU in a long time. They haven't played a one versus two matchup since uh, since 1990 when they also played the Jayhawks. They won that game big. That game was here, though. This one will be in Lawrence, where they haven't won since 1993. You can check out our coverage every day at NewsOK.com and every morning in the Oklahoma for the best OU coverage anywhere.